Donc Salesforce and IBM collabore sur l'intelligence artificielle. Maintenant, nous avons un invité aujourd'hui, un autre invité de marque, euh, dont c'est la deuxième année à Paris. Je crois qu'il a tellement aimé de venir dans l'événement l'an dernier qu'il est revenu cette année. Donc s'il vous plaît, accueillez Parker Harris, cofondateur de Salesforce. Bienvenue Parker. Merci Alex, merci. Je suis très heureux d'être ici encore une fois. Alors Parker, tu as appris le français depuis l'an dernier, donc là tu es fluente. Non, ce n'est pas vrai, <rire> mais, mais je vais essayer un, peu, un petit peu. Alors l'an dernier, on t'avait appris un mot, parce que l'an dernier, tu oui. étais venu pour l'ouverture du data center français. Un mot qu'on qu a dit euh, déjà dans la présentation. On l'a déjà dit le mot Oui. Ah bon de, que... Deux, trois fois. C'est vrai Quel était le mot que tu as appris Ah non. C'était un autre mot. C'était un autre mot. Ah, c'était ah, un autre ah, mot. Tu avais appris un mot ah, l'an ah, dernier. Oui. Tu avais ouvert le data center, les oui. premiers clients étaient... Les lasers. Voilà. Il y avait des... Non, on dit, on, on dit pas laser en français. Laser. On dit laser. 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 Il y avait un laser. Merci. Dans le... <rire> Mais on va je, revenir je, à la je, présentation. Je, je, je connais le mot. Voilà. Je connais le mot. Alors quel était le mot que tu avais appris Le mot c'était cocorico. Ouais ouais ouais, c'était ça. Ouais. <rire> Bravo. So, donc tu avais appris cocorico. Alors cette année tu as vu le thème de la présentation, il est différent. C'est c'est le thème partout. Voilà, c'est le thème partout, c'est Trailblazer. Trailblazer, les pionniers. Les, les, les pionniers, mais je préfère uh, Trailblazer. On garde Trailblazer parce qu'il n'y a pas vraiment encore, on n'a pas trouvé la traduction. Tu es américain. Tu es américain, tu <rire> gardes Trailblazer. Alors, cette année, on n'ouvre oui. pas de data center parce qu'il euh, ah. est live et il fonctionne. J'ai une surprise pour toi. En fait, on a, trouvé, on a trouvé une photo. Je n'aime pas les, les surprises. <rire> tu n'aimes pas les surprises non. Alors, j'ai trouvé une photo et avec l'équipe marketing, on a, euh, regarde l'écran, on a trouvé une photo. Ah. Alors, si on peut venir faire venir la photo. Alors, ah oui, il y a longtemps. <rire> alors, tu peux nous dire qu'est-ce que c'est cette photo Ok, ça, ça c'était moi dans la photo. C'est la moitié de toi dans le miroir. C'est la moitié de moi. Ouais. Et euh, j'avais les cheveux noirs, il y a 18 ans, il y a longtemps. Et ça c'est le placard où euh, on a le premier euh, centre de données de Salesforce. Le premier data center Salesforce. Data center. Ah, oh, you... yeah. tu parles en anglais. Ouais. Ah, <rire> ok. <rire> Donc, alors c'est ton pantalon et ta chemise qui Non, sont... non, non, non. C'était pas ma pantalon. C'était <rire> les pantalons de l'un de mes cofondateurs. <rire> euh, C'était mot difficile pour moi. Euh, et il couche là-bas le soir et travaille là-bas. Euh, Pour le surveiller le data center, il fallait oui. dormir là, donc et, ça et, faisait data center et placard. Et, et une un fois, j'ai fermé la porte là et les, les câbles sont sur la, la porte et j'ai euh, tiré le router <rire> de l'étage et il s'est tombé et le data center euh, euh, arrêté. went down. <rire> <rire> mais mais n'inquiète pas, il y a un data center ici à Paris qui, qui marche beaucoup meilleur. Oui, beaucoup mieux. <rire> oui maintenant, aujourd'hui, les data centers Salesforce, le mois dernier, euh, c'est 50 milliards de transactions par mois. Donc c'est évidemment une autre oui. échelle euh, que le premier jour dans le placard. Donc, en, en tout cas, Parker, bienvenue, je vais te laisser présenter Merci. la technologie. Tu continues en français Un petit peu. Ok, Un bon courage. <rire> à toi. Alors je vais, je vais expliquer euh, quelque chose. Merci. Je viens de parler euh, de Einstein et je vais parler en anglais parce que c'est très difficile pour moi d'expliquer ça en français. Je m'excuse. Alors, en anglais, so Alex uh, talked about, and you saw in the video, the power of IBM Watson, which is taking all these signals from third-party data out in the world, combined with the power of Einstein, as they say here in France, uh, which I've learned, Together, and Einstein understands CRM, it understands your customers, it's AI for CRM, and we take the two and we're transforming together all of these different industries, manufacturing and automobile and finance, insurance. And what I want to do is I want to explain this with a demonstration of how the two technologies come together to transform insurance. So let's take a look at this demo. So this is the Lightning user experience. Many of you know this experience, and it's, it's incredible. If you don't, come see me after the show. I'll explain it to you. I'll show it to you. It's incredible. And it's a component-based UI. And what we have here on the left is a component from IBM. That's IBM Watson that we just used the app builder and put it inside the UI. 
And on the right, you see Einstein. Now, in this component, in, uh, in the IBM Watson component, you're seeing how, I, how uh, Watson has looked at all this historical data of weather because Watson is an expert at weather. And you can see where it predicted hail. You can see where it predicted rain and wind. Luckily, it's a nice day today. But I arrived here in Paris on Tuesday. Uh, I had rain, and then I had hail, and it was a crazy day. Oh! Well, it looks like we have a crazy day here today as well. It looks like the hail is coming back, but never fear. Watson is going to work here with Einstein, and it's going to help you. You can see here that it's predicting hail throughout the different arrondissements of Paris, and it's handed that information off to Einstein. And Einstein understands the customers, and it's taken that information that said, oh, there's hail happening. Where is it happening? Oh, well, I know where the customers are. I know who the customers are. I know how they want to be notified. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have Einstein actually give a personal one-to-one -one notification to each of those customers. So let's take a look at how that works. Here we are in the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Salesforce Marketing Cloud does one-to-one -one journeys, meaning it can have a communication with each of your customers in a very personalized way. But here, something special is happening. Watson has passed the signal in that the hail is coming here in Paris. And it's passed it into journeys. But you can see at the very beginning there, something called an, a smart split. That's Einstein AI in Journey Builder that's actually being smart about how to communicate. Because it knows that some customers want to be notified on text message or SMS. Other customers want to be notified on a phone or some other customers, maybe you want email or an application. And it's going to send that notification to each one because Einstein understands the customer and it's smart. And so let's take a look at how that would happen to each of those customers. So the notifications have come through, the hailstorm's here. But if you're an insurance company, you don't want to go and make the customers happy by giving them a policy and actually paying for the damage to this hailstorm, you want to have happy customers that are going to just love you. What better way is if you notify them. So on the left, you see on that iPhone, there's a notification via text message saying, you better take your car inside. Put it in the garage so that hail won't dent your car. In the middle, you can see that there's the email. That customer prefers email. And so she's going to put her car inside. And on the right, you see a Galaxy, uh, you see a, a Google uh, phone, and on the Google phone, this customer is a loyal customer so much that they downloaded the application from the insurance company, they get an in-app notification saying, put your motorcycle inside. So that's pretty incredible. That's I Watson and Einstein coming together, changing the way these, this insurance company is satisfying its customers, making them more successful, and you can do that too with these technologies. Now let's go back to the slides, and you'll see that all of this is available today. What you saw with that Watson component, you saw the Einstein component, you saw Lightning UI, all of that is possible today. Einstein is live. We shipped a ton of features in our spring release. We just released another release with summer because our, our releases happen just like the seasons. They just come and give you more technology. And so in Marketing Cloud and Commerce Cloud, App Cloud, all of our applications, all of our clouds are now powered with AI, making you smarter. It's pretty incredible. Now, that's one of five transformations that Salesforce sees happening in enterprise. Okay, that's the, the transformation of intelligence. But there's a whole bunch more happening. There's a transformation of speed, a transformation of productivity, transformation of mobility and connect connectivity. So we just looked at all that's happening with AI, but let's look at speed for a second. We've been working a lot on Salesforce Lightning. It is now live with over 200 features. It is incredible. You saw the UI in there, just the ability to just drag Watson into your application without any code. That's pretty incredible. So you have this incredible experience. So you can go faster, less clicks, more productivity. 
You can customize it. You don't have to rate that code. So if you're not a programmer, that's fine. You too can take Watson and put it into your UI. You can customize it with the drag and drop app builder. You can drag those components in. And if there's a component that you don't have, if there's some functionality that you really want, I guarantee you, if you go look on our app exchange, you'll see a whole community of our, of our partners' applications and components that will work in the Lightning UI. That's going to help you go faster. Pretty incredible. And what talk about going faster in e-commerce. Everybody wants to go faster. Everybody in retail wants to go faster and sell more online. You, turn, you heard Alex talk about Adidas selling millions of dollars, billions of dollars of shoes on our e-commerce platform. Here in France, Lacoste is also a customer of the Commerce Cloud. Over 350 million customers per month are going to this service and having an incredible experience in purchasing and um, buying from all of these customers, selling more, selling faster. Now let's talk a little bit about productivity. If you haven't heard of Quip, if you haven't downloaded it, go to the App Store, go to the Android Marketplace, download Quip. It's free to download. It is an amazing application. Let me tell you what it is. It's a mobile-first, offline-first productivity suite, deeply integrated into Salesforce for spreadsheets and documents, and, and eventually we're going to have um, presentations. And why is, it, why is it important? Why is it helpful? Well, we used Quip to plan this whole event, all the different collaborators coming together to plan the event. We planned a dinner last night. We have a beautiful dinner with some customers tonight. All of that's done through Quip bringing all your, of your employees or your customers together, collaborating around documents and spreadsheets, doing it on your phone, because everyone's doing their business on their phone. That's pretty incredible. And speaking of phones, when we started Salesforce, we didn't have computers in our pockets. Eventually, the BlackBerry came out. That was an amazing device, but it was only email. But now, all of you have a phone right now. You're probably, some of you may be doing some work right now. I hope you're listening to me otherwise. But if you're not, you too understand that the phone is where everyone's doing their work. You expect to be able to do your work in this room later today, wherever you are. And we have given you the power to do that in the enterprise with the Salesforce One mobile application. It is the most popular, most successful enterprise mobile application ever. More than 1.5 million users use it every single month. We just got an award by the Global Mobile Awards for best enterprise mobile app. I encourage you to check it out. And what's more, if you're an enterprise, I hope you love Salesforce, but if you don't, let me know. But you may want to not have a Salesforce app. You may say, well, it's great you have all that functionality, but I don't want to download a Salesforce app. I want to download the Good Goo app. I want to download the Michelin app. I want to download the Coke app. Well, you can do that without any work at all. We will do that for you. What we will do is we will take your brand and we'll customize it for you. We will put an icon on it that says Coca-Cola. It will be red or Good Goo. It will be a little green there. We'll load it up onto these marketplaces, the App Store, Android Marketplace, and your users, your employees, will download an application that they think you have taken years to build, but it took you no effort at all because we built it for you, we branded it for you, pretty amazing. Now finally, there's a whole new uh, thing happening. When we talk about Einstein, Einstein is really amazing when it gets lots more data. And there is an incredible amount of data being produced today from the world of IoT. And that's why we've delivered the Thunder IoT Cloud. All of these signals, everything's IP enabled. Your phone's giving off signals. The Coke machines are giving off signals. Pepper the robot there is giving off signals. Everything is giving off information now because everything is connected. And all that information is interesting to us because it informs behind it who that customer is. And then Einstein can take that data and learn from it. So let me bring all this together for you and show you how it all works in the Salesforce platform. We call it the customer success platform. At the base layer, of course, we have to have trust. That's the trusted multi-tenant kernel that runs everything. It runs it here in Paris, it runs in the United States, in Tokyo. All over the world, we're running 
securely and safely and fast. Above that, we have our data layer. All of your data securely managed, your CRM data, your IoT data, your social data, all of that we will keep safe for you. And then we will feed it into the Einstein algorithms to give you more power to be smarter in how you're doing your business. Surface through the Lightning UI in all of the applications that you use every day, Salesforce, Sales Cloud, or Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, on your mobile device, all for you to help you connect with your customers in a smarter and whole new way. And with that, I'd like to hand it right back to Alex. Merci, Parker. Merci. Un grand merci. Merci, Parker. Et euh, je crois que la magie de Salesforce, c'est d'avoir les fondateurs depuis 18 ans avec le même niveau de passion euh, sur les produits. En tout cas, pour moi qui suis chez Salesforce depuis 9 ans, euh, c'est clairement quelque chose 